In this video, we will be doing an overview of the console for the Trade Edition, Charts Edition, and Charts Plus Edition. The initial layout will have a main charting area with several charts. To the right of that, we will have a pre-configured watch list as buy and sell boxes. And if you have the Charts and Charts Plus Edition, you will have two panels configured as watch lists. And if you have the Trades Edition, you'll have the additional panels as listed here, orders, positions, trades, and accounts. At the bottom of the platform, you also have a blue status bar, which will show your connection status. If it's white, you're connected. If it's amber, you're disconnected. Linking capability, as well as the ability to link by color. And to the right, you'll have the date and time. In the main area, you can activate a chart by clicking on it. As you click on it, the color of the tab will change. And in adding studies, when you add a study, you can add a study either on the chart as an overlay, which I will show you now, or you can also plot a study underneath the chart as a separate plot, as we've done here. Now to the right, to the bottom of each chart, there are navigation icons. You can go to a specific date. You can select from a specific time span that you'd like to see. You can use the bird's eye view to scroll to a specific point in time. And as you do so, the chart will move accordingly. And you also have other options such as saving templates and semi-log scale. At the bottom of each chart, you also have available time frames. Now you can change time frames by clicking the required time frame, and the change will be reflected right by the symbol in the upper left hand corner of the chart. Above the charts, we have the toolbar, which can be customized. That will be in a later video. To the far left, we have the symbol box, which will allow you to select any symbol from your local database and change the chart accordingly, or you can always type in the symbol directly. To the right of that, you can search for a symbol via the magnifying glass icon. This will allow you to search for a specific symbol. We have some icons here related to saving current changes. You can create and manage an analysis. Take a snapshot of your current chart. You can also ac access tools via the drop down menu. You can zoom out. You can change bar type. You can enable the crosshairs via this icon. You can also have auto scale on, linking functionality, as well as changing time frames. And to the right of that, you have text formatting options for any of your text-based components. To the far right, we have a set of icons here. Now, if you have the charts version, you will have access to the lock studies, the components, and the preferences. If you have the charts plus version, in addition to those, you'll also have replay mode. You can toggle panels on and off via these icons. The Components panel, the DOM, the Time and Sales, and the Trade panel. We can also toggle them off by clicking on them again. And as mentioned before, the toolbar can be customized, which will be in a later video. Above the charts, we have the Motive Wave menu. Now, there will be a separate video in regards to that as there are many details to cover. So here we're going to be doing just a brief overview. We have the file menu, which will allow you to open any new windows. Also initiate any chart related functions, such as creating new and managing analysis or importing and exporting analysis and the ability to back up and restore your workspace as well as disconnecting or reconnecting the platform or shutting it down. On the edit menu, we have drawing related functions which allow you to cut, copy, and paste any drawings. From the view menu you can toggle on and off any functionality as well as any panels. Now depending on which version you have some of these may be grayed out which means it's no it's not available in your version. For instance if you don't have the trade edition or you have the charts or charts plus the trade panel will not be available. From the study menu you can add a study. Now clicking add study will show you all the available studies if you want a specific study, you can always type in the letters and it'll start pulling them up to narrow down your list. 
Now you can also, for convenience, we have these studies configured in groups if you find that easier. The format menu, again, allows any formatting options for any text-based drawings or analysis. And the configure menu allows you to configure all aspects of the platform. You will find most of the time in the configure preferences, which will also be a separate video, as there's lots to cover here. Um, but again, depending on your version, you may or may not have um, certain tabs such as orders if you're on the Charts or Charts Plus edition. Along with configure, you also have the window menu, which allows you window management as far as cascading and tiling windows. And then you have the help menu, which allows you quick access to resources. And you may also find that if dealing with technical support, they may ask you for your log files. You can click on log files, which brings up a window with your log files, which can be sent to support. So this covers this video, and we'll see you in the next.